pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now we will proceed into the preliminary consideration. And according to the form that was filled out, I've read it. It seems to be the same as the form. So do any of you have anything you want to say? about this um, consideration that we are doing this morning about the board members. Okay. Am I moving too fast? No. Because I have a recommendation based on all information that has been given to me and all information that I have researched and I am going to recommend that this consideration be dismissed and not. I need a motion, please. I make a motion to, to dismiss this protest because it fails to include evidence which, if true, substantiates the probable occurrence of an outcome determined the violation of election law irregularity in this context. Okay. Second. Okay. The moved and properly second that the preliminary consideration be dismissed dot 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 I can't speak in the same as we um, is there any discussion or question? Are you ready for the question? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No opposition. So preliminary consideration is dismissed. Thank you very much. And thank you all for coming. Oh, no, you stay at work. Longer to drive from Rocky Mount to here to uh, get the uh, what was going to take place today. I don't understand where they're doing it yet, but uh, today we see what happened, huh. and they will be on uh, you too. I'm glad you spoke. You said you didn't speak when you came in, and I'm gonna send your uh, donation to you. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
that was bought somewhere else in Crystal Lines Anderson. Uh, just just walked by. Uh, Crystal Lines Anderson was here supporting Bronson Williams. This is about the craziest I ever seen. I have been going to a lot of board of elections, um, preliminary hearings, and I don't understand how this guy is on the council review for the state Democratic Party. And this is what kind of uh, stuff that he's doing. I don't get it. Uh, evidently, he must be listening to his mentor, uh, Roosevelt Higgs. I mean, he was just here uh, several months ago with um, Calvin Sherrod, and they went through the same thing. I understand that he on the uh, talk show every morning talking this crazy to me, and Roosevelt Higgs up there with a bunch of lies. The reason why he was able to do what he did with Andre is because you had a two, I had a three member board at that time. You had Gladys Shelton, a Democrat, and you had uh, Samuel Branch, a Democrat, and you had one Republican. And the reason why uh, Roosevelt was able to hold up Andre night is simply because Gladys Shelton and the Republican, I can't think of her name right now, but they both teamed up together. Samuel Branch voted against the mess, so that's how he was able to go forward. And everybody know, you can look on my page and see that at the end of the day, Andre ended up suing it's going to count it because of Roosevelt's stupidness and Gladys Shelton. Now, he said something about he has challenged my residency. Well, that food was crazy. That was during the time of the flood and the, uh, the uh, everybody knows the 99 flood, how long it takes people to get back in. I was in a, 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 a kind of precarious situation because the house is in my name. My dad had got remarried. So the house was in my name, but because he was not living there, I couldn't get any um, assistance for the house. So I had to do it out of pocket. So uh, because he, Roosevelt had an issue with me because I talked to Andre and other folk that he had a problem with, he came for my residency, which it had no burn. And I could have, now you're talking about an appeal. I don't know what this guy here talking about. How can you appeal something and you had nothing here? The only thing you can take to Raleigh is the same thing that happened here. So this guy called himself supposed to be so smart, but he's out here misleading people. And I've been trying to tell y'all what kind of guy this guy was. Now, um, going back to me, the only reason I changed um, uh, my residency at that time was, hey, I um, went on to change it because I had found a place to live or uh, rent it, but I didn't know how long I was going to be there. But I could appeal what I did, uh, the, the residency challenge he did against me. I could appeal it and more likely could have won because it was the 99 flood. And in 2001 is when I was able to rent, I stayed in a capital trailer behind my aunt house for uh, a little over a year. And then a, a, a place came open right down the road. So I was able to rent that place and move out of the capital trailer. Me and my wife, newborn son, had just been born in 1998. The flood was in 1999. And I had another daughter there. And then I had a daughter living in Maryland there. I picked up that he son right before I moved in the house, uh, uh, the house uh, in 2001. So it was counting up in that capital trailer. But anyway, um, I won't rent it for anything. So. My residency didn't even matter. But getting back to today, this is about the ignorance mess I have ever seen in my life coming from somebody, a young man that calls himself so smart, got a local TV station, and supposed to be educating folks. Now, it's funny to me that he didn't bring the camera last week, but he bought the camera today. So you ought to see that it's all about him. And I'm quite sure he's watching him and all Crystal and uh, Alliance just let, just let, Alliance Anderson just left out. She was the other one that ran against um, um, Richard. Um, it's funny, I was wondering if she's going to be here because during the election time uh, process, she was like, just like what Bronson said. So I see she has took him up, followed him. When I tried to, I reached out to her, tried to tell her, like I did him in the past, that, you know, you need to know more about the process 
or uh, election, do your homework, get involved in the Democratic Party, and maybe one day you'll get where you want to go. But this is embarrassing to me, two young folks. See, that's why I have a problem. I've been out here since the early 80s. I was around in my early 20s when I got started. I am 59 today. And I know what I went through out here trying to get involved in the political process, just trying to be a voice, not trying to run for anything. But these guys are trying to run for something. They come off the street, don't have no idea what's going on, and it makes no sense. I told Bronson not to run against Shelly Wilhelm back in the day. He wanted to run for the chair of the party. I told him not to do that. I said, brother, you need to get involved in the Democratic Party. Okay, he uh, got on the, um, he was on the Democratic Party when, those of it, when, when he got kicked off. He was the third vice chair. He did not do a thing. When uh, uh, the new chairman came on, LaShawn Jenkins, he didn't do his job. LaShawn had to do the third vice chair job and his. It makes no sense. He, um, Rod Gray nominated him for the um, executive committee of the North Carolina State Democratic Party. And I'm trying to figure out why. Uh, Roosevelt, I mean, not Roosevelt, Rod Gray would do that. It makes no sense. But some people, that's what they like, nominating and supporting folks that ain't done nothing. And um, I threw my name in at the time because I, I wasn't thinking because it was saying you needed two men and two women. But I wasn't thinking that when, when, when he nominated Bronson, I nominated myself because I wasn't thinking that LaShawn Jenkins, the chair, would automatically be one of the members. So once it came to him, I had to normally leave my name in there. So I ended up beating him and he ended up voting for me uh, during the process. But then later on, a position came open with the council of review. Gwen Wilkins was up for that and uh, she decided she wanted to do the uh, appointment for Mary Wales over in Nash County. So I didn't even know the position was coming up. But anyway, them two had got together. Um, Bronson had contacted uh, LaShawn. And so his name came up during uh, the meeting and he was nominated to be on the North Carolina State Council of Review. Now the Council of Review is what uh, um, uh, you can file a complaint to the North Carolina State Democratic Party. So why would this guy need to be on a board like that? When you're seeing here what kind of attitude he got, this is just ridiculous. It's embarrassing because I, 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 the last time I was here, I was here with him, but I keep telling y'all, I have no permanent friend, no permanent, no permanent interest. And so today I'm here against him. So um, I, I, when I say against him, I am against him because I am sick of this foolishness. Today we have a a three member, a five member uh, board of elections, three Democrats, two Republicans. Um, there was a majority. Um, uh, you have uh, two blacks and three whites on the board. And it just makes no sense that they had to go through this last week when they were trying to do the canvassing and do the provisional ballots and then uh, I'll get ready for the upcoming election. Everybody need to be focused on the upcoming election versus this foolishness here. This mess here is just crazy. I don't understand. So people, you need to watch and listen to the Daily Noise. I tuned it out back last year in October when they did show, I went to the brother and tried to tell him and people were complaining about the different people he had calling into his show. And he got mad with me and did a week long show. Even brought a dog baby to the show for the daycare, saying it was me. I have not done anything but try to help him and other folk. I told people when it comes to politics in Edgecombe County that you need to talk to me because I have been actively engaged since the early 80s. And I am, um, it, I am concerned about who represent me, whether it be on the local, state, or national level. So if you don't, you can either be on your team or off your team. So I tell you, this is where I stand, and I hope you all see for today what just took place. It makes no sense. This brother is an embarrassment to Edgecombe County, the young folk, 
because you do not make a presentation or file a complaint to a board and don't have all the documentation. And now see, I really don't understand what it, it was all about because now what I heard in the street was uh, uh, somebody got the wrong ballot. Well, from what I understand, the person didn't show up last week, so you can't speak for him or her. Then today, uh, they say that it was about the same thing. They didn't say what that same thing was, so that's what I'm assuming. So here we go again. What is he talking about? But anyway, I'm gonna shut it down. Y'all right here's enough for me. So uh, there you have it. What took place in the Edgecombe County Board of Election Office on this day, Wednesday, June 2nd, 2022. The brother handed a letter to, uh, some kind of paper to uh, the Board of Directors, Jerry Spore, saying he's gonna appeal to the North Carolina <laughs> Board of Election. But from what I understand, and, and, and the means I have gone to on the local level and on the state level, um, you present what you present at the local level. So if you haven't presented anything today, what you gonna present to the state level? Somebody help me understand. There you have it. This is DCN, your alternative news. You know, I don't get paid to do this. Some people have a, 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 a so-called TV show and they call it still bringing money in. But see, I do it out of pocket. I do it because I want to educate the people. I don't, I'm not running for anything. I just want to make sure the people know what's going on, whether it be with the elected officials or citizens. So there you have it. Thank you for tuning in.